All right. Well, speaking of the Mega Man, they're making a movie. You know about it's that? It's being produced by Fox. Yeah. What's the big deal with Fox? Like, I don't follow that that much. A lot of people hate him. Dude, their the, X-Men movies, X-Men and Wolverine movies are just god-awful terrible. What they're the, not that bad. The, the first yeah, Wolverine movie, yeah. I liked it. I didn't see the second one. They're they like, the first Wolverine movie? The first Wolverine movie? Oh, that one was terrible. What? Come on. Kick this guy out the podcast. <laughs> no, for real, though. Fox, dude, they, they need to just give their license, their Marvel license, back to uh, Marvel. Mm. Just give it back. Is there any particular story it's following? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really read that much into it. Is it the X series or just the... Uh... I'll look it up right now on the computer. Or now. See, I'm looking at it right now, but see, this is why on fanboysofgaming.com we don't have all these fucking ads. Because I'm trying to read it, and I have three or four ads popping up just for me to read a article. I'm just like, really? I, I can't even read the article. It's ridiculous. Dude, I hate whenever they have, uh, like, look at these top ten whatever, and then you have to scroll th to the next page for each one of them. Right. Got to get some ad revenue. <laughs> Look at this. 20th Century Fox and Shernan Entertainment are currently developing a Mega Man movie based on the popular video game franchise, of course, that came out of Japan and landed in our Nintendo and Game Boy video game systems in the 80s and 90s. They don't say anything about, like, what, um... What the story's gonna be or anything? Plot? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess all we can do is just hope for the best, and as most video game and movies that come together or that are from something of a video game, it just usually isn't good. So how about that, um, what is that, Street Fighter movie, the one that just came out not too long ago? For the Street I Fighter? Didn't, I didn't even know there was a Street Fighter movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there, there, was. There, there was. There was uh, There was actually one I, I watched as a kid that I really liked, uh, one with uh, John claude Van Damme in it. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. this was a newer one. <sighs> This one, like, just happened, and I don't know what... I don't know, it was oh, wait a second. Not the one that came out in 2009, right? No, nah, this was, like, within a couple, within a year or two ago. Like, it wasn't even anything big. Was it, was it Street Fighter, or was it something else? It had to be Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. But. It, might, it might have been Mortal Kombat, because they didn't make yeah, a new one of that. It was, it was Street Fighter, May 23rd, 2014. Oh, it was a YouTube movie. Okay, well, it was a movie. <laughs> And it got a 7.6 out of 10, so it wouldn't have been too bad. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. I, know, I like, I find, like, my movie tastes are very weird. Like, I, I like cheesy, like, movies like, oh, man, this is, like, uh, the Mortal Kombat movies and the uh, the Street Fighter movie with John Con Van Damme. Like, I was like, oh, man, these are really good movies. People are like, that, uh, that's trash. I think your nostalgia is affecting that. If you watched it nowadays... Like no, I actually, really I did watch it like a couple months ago. I still like it. I mean, no, I'm saying, yeah, because you saw it back in the day, though. Like, if you've never seen that movie and it comes out now, I think okay. you're It was a TV miniseries on here. It's called Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. So. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I heard that movie was really good. Okay, well, there you go. So, hopefully the Mega Man will be really good also. Just hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> All right, next I need got... to watch that uh, old Mario movie now. Oh, oh I watched that the other day with my daughters, and they just looked at me like, Dad, what the hell are you making us watch? <laughs> They're like, what is this? And I'm like, do 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 just like, oh, gosh, it. it's just, <sighs> man, it's, it's amazing how the times change, and it's just insane. I should watch that with my daughters. That'd be funny. Dennis yes, and, and let us know how that goes because my like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, like can we go turn on whatever else? I'm like, sure, whatever. And they went off, and I just sat there and watched it. And my wife's like, why are you still watching this? I'm like, because I like the movie. I'm just like, Shoot. yeah. So I was watching it and crying. Right? <laughs> 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 Nintendo, you were so great. <laughs> just. <laughs> That Double Dragon movie? Hey, that one kind of wasn't too bad. Yeah. Damn, I forgot about that. That movie's pretty good. Mm, mm, mm. 
All right, next big thing we got is the PS4 beta. 3.0. 3.0? Isn't it the 3.0? Yep. It has a name, yeah. too. I forgot it. Kenshin or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It sure does. And, Sticky, what are some of the things that are coming with this, or this preview, this beta? Um, they're upgrading the cloud storage. It went from 1 gig to up to 10 gigs now, because a lot of people were saying 1 gig wasn't enough. I had read somebody said their Dragon Age Inquisition file save was 300 megabytes. So oh, wow. Yep. That's one game. That's one game, yep. And what we have, most people have like more than 10 nowadays. Right. And that's only for PS Plus members, though, right? The storage up increase? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Hold on. I, I, I didn't read... They didn't say that where I read what word. Yeah, right? I for all PS that. Plus members. Okay. Oh, it's PS Plus only? Okay. Oh, so if you, only if you have a PS Plus membership, you can get the extra space. I don't know if you get any space if you're not, so not for sure. Now, the next big thing about that beta I like and which Xbox needs to get off their ass about is the YouTube Live where PS4 yeah. owners will be able to live stream gameplay straight to YouTube. Live streams will be viewable across YouTube, including the new YouTube gaming mobile app and website. Microsoft, get that shit. <laughs> yep. I can't explain it enough. That is pretty cool, and I think that is something that needs to be pushed forward, especially with Twitch being so... Well, since the YouTube gaming... Uh, application or side side whatever you want to call it since that was basically made out of spite because they didn't get Twitch so now you're going to have a battle between them um, in my opinion I would prefer YouTube over Twitch and that's simply because it's just where most people go for a lot of other stuff not just gaming so somehow you can just come across something and you could be into whole another world of topic when you're on YouTube, and that could lead to someone's channel, gameplay, you know, etc. versus most of the time people go to Twitch just to watch games. So I think that's pretty cool for them. Only thing is, YouTube is going to have to really figure out the way to get those big personalities from Twitch to go over to YouTube. I mean, they're already established, you know what I mean? What if they do a, a dual broadcast? That would really suck for upload. You'd have to have some really good upload speed, and as we know, most people don't. Yeah. I mean, those big personalities, I'm pretty sure they have really good internet. Well, it's not even that fact that they can afford it. It's a matter of just their area. I mean, this you know, I was talking to a buddy of mine. He was about to get 100 megs, and it's only five up. I'm like, what? I'm like, why is it only five up? That's ridiculous. I have 50 down, and I have five up. But I can get more, but they don't just offer it. So yeah, I had a uh, eighty. Uh, what was it? Eighty-five down and forty up when I had Fios. See, that's fine. Hey, my T-Mobile phone gets sixty down and like thirty up. I'm like, am I gonna have to make a hot spot or what? I'm just like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, absolutely. <laughs> So what else is coming to the PS3, I mean PS4 beta 3.0? Um, they're adding more like social things to it, which is pretty cool. Like they're gonna have a favorites group where you can label. Like the Xbox has? Yeah, like the way the Xbox has. They're Probably also adding notifications and stuff like that when you only want specific people to, when they get on, you know? Yep. They're also adding a communities feature, which I think is pretty cool because there's some games that like, kind of like die out quick. Let's say, like, Rainbow Six comes out. I'm pretty sure that game is not going to be that popular. Like, everyone's going to go back to Call of Duty, unfortunately. Nah, it's just pretty much going to be like it always has been. Fucking, like, the new players are coming. Like, oh, this game is trash. Yep. I can't drop shot in this, and they're going to go play Call of Duty, and then the hardcore well, Rainbow fans are going to stay and play. Yep, and then I can go and use, like, a community like that. Like, search it up and be like, yo, where are the Rainbow Six players at? I think that's a pretty cool feature, honestly. Yeah. Yep. The uh, next thing they're doing is you'll be able to send emoticons, emotes, like stickers, but you don't have 
any means. Oh, I mean, it was more dark. Like a voice chat. Like you don't have a mic, right? So I'm sure you're going to use those stickers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> what are you well, talking about right now? <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay. So yeah. Let's, your party chat. Let's see what you said. I don't have a mic, man. Well, I just didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that community thing sounds pretty cool. Thank you. Uh, then they're uh, they're adding. I got three more things. Two more things. Okay. They're, they're adding a, a feature where you can send ten seconds of video to Twitter. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Yeah, it's like a headshot or something. That's pretty cool. No, no, I like Twitter. A, so. a request to watch feature, like on Steam, which I I like that. You're like, yo, let me watch this game. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Check it out. But they already have that, uh, what's it called? Share play, is it? Where you can, um, actually play the game, is it? Yeah. yeah. It says request a watch gameplay. Want to view a friend's gameplay session? Now you can send a request to watch notification to a player, which yeah. will start a live broadcast or share play invitation to the person playing. Yep. Yeah. You know, we're talking about that. Have y'all used the share play? Never. Mm, not yet, no. Napkin? No. So... This is not, it's not something... I mean, I don't really have a friend that doesn't have the game that I want. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's for something that's like, oh, man, I, I was wondering if I should get this game. I don't have friends like that. Most of my friends just buy the games, like, right off the bat, so... You know, I thought maybe that's something maybe that really appeals to the younger generation... Unlike us that have jobs and, you know, provide for ourselves, you know, a kid that has to wait for a parent that only gets maybe a, a game on Christmas and their birthday and that's it, maybe that, that's something that appeals more to them. Maybe that's why, because they just I, don't I have their own financial. Cool. Like right now, for your question you gave me earlier, you could have tried out Mad Max, you know, you have an hour. Like, hmm, should I get it? Yeah, you're right. I still wouldn't have done it, though, but yeah. <laughs> But, yep. mm -mm -mm. The events, they're going to have events in there. Did you talk about that? Events? Where on the, uh, the, the, the update? Yeah, the beta update. I didn't see that on the site. It says a, new hub of, uh, says a new hub for events has been added, given an overview of activities taking place in the games you play most, as well as official broadcast. For instance, you may see an update for Double XP Weekend, a special enemy appearing at a scheduled time or seasonal events like in-game towns being decorated for the winter, you'll also receive notifications when that event starts or if the timing changes. That is pretty cool. I like that because that, to me, it, it, holds, it holds something to let everybody know, hey, this is what's going on, let's do this, and let's get together. To me, it brings more people together in the community for the PlayStation. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's all of. Uh, yep. It said it's gonna have a now playing what's new feature. It says the now playing screen will display even more information about what your friends are doing, and you'll be able to quickly jump into a game party, request a screen share, or get sent to the PS Store to buy the game your friends are playing, further enhancing the social relationship with your friends online. So that sounds like what's already what's already on the Xbox, and they have in the friends menu, and basically you get to see who's playing what, and they have a separate menu you can go into the Xbox also, that will show uh, all the games you have basically that will that people have been playing and when's the last time they've played them and stuff like that. So I think that's really good for the PlayStation. They can kind of if you if you're not sure about a game and you're like, well, I don't want to get this game and nobody's going to be playing the thing. So then you go on there and you see 15 of your 20 of your friends playing it, then, you know, hey, well, that gives you some reassurance that people are actually still playing the game. So I like that because yeah. Halo Master Chief has been on my top list pretty much since it came out almost all the time. So I really like that feature, and I hope that's something that comes on the PlayStation too. Yeah. They haven't said when it's going to come out to the public, though. It's like the beta just begun, right, this week that just passed. 
Somebody had said something in Fog that they did some update, and I'm going to assume it was this, that it messed up their PlayStation 4. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it was. That's what he said, so I'm not sure. I have to really check. But I think then that dude said it was his internet is kind of messed up or something. Is that what it was? Yeah, I think it was that probably lost the internet while he was downloading it because I haven't seen uh, anything like on sites talking about that even yeah. on Reddit nobody has really mentioned he that lost internet while his console was updating <laughs> yeah oh no yeah well I mean even at that I mean it's more along the lines of if it was downloading it was just downloading it wasn't installing right. so True. it shouldn't have messed it up it should have just canceled the download so Hopefully that's not a problem because that sucks. And no matter what, you don't want anybody's anything messing up that they pay money on. So hopefully it comes out. But also a reminder, it is a beta. So just like how the Xbox One preview has bugs. And we know that going in and we deal with some of the nonsense because we want those features and updates before everybody else. So you think I got a question for you. You think us doing beta tests for them? It's kind of like doing them a favor. Oh, hands down, yeah. So you don't think they should provide, like, the people who participate in that, if your console gets bricked, they should handle that at no charge, you know? Oh, yeah, I definitely do think they should. You know? <laughs> Xbox does. Don't they, they do? No, no, I don't think they do. I don't think uh, anyone does. I remember when some update happened, when somebody's update messed up when they had the problem with the Xbox. I remember seeing something about that. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. I don't want to sit here and look for it right now. So, I don't know. Uh, regardless of who, I think both should do that. A anybody who does that, yeah. beta should provide it. Regardless of what piece of equipment it is, they should... If your update fucks up my stuff, <laughs> you should replace it. I you understand. I mean... Come on now. Do they replace your phone if that happens? Like you download an update and it breaks it? Can you call them? or? You, usually or? if it's within the year. If it's under warranty. But oh, if yeah. it's under warranty, it's going to replace it regardless. So <clears throat> if something's wrong with it anyways. But even after warranty, I, in my belief, they should. But if that's what the company is actually going to do, I'm not for sure. Either way, Xbox, PlayStation, phones, TVs, or I don't care what it is. Yeah, because Steam, you can do a beta thing, too, now. Oh, yeah. Not now, but for a while already. No, they're still doing it. They still have the beta thing on PC? If I'm not mistaken, they still have an insider program. Okay. Yeah. It's going to restart or starting back up, I believe, here in a little bit. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's going to be starting back up. I'm going to assume it's going to be just like what the Xbox is since that's where they got the idea from for the PC. And hopefully, I think that's good because, you know, you deal with a little bit of bugs, but you get the newer features out and stuff like that. Just like, you know, whenever the, the UI comes out for um, the Xbox, the new UI. So. Dude, I'm, I'm, not doing that UI I don't think, I'm, not, I'm not doing that for PC again. It made my other, it made my laptop run funky. One of those, uh, I think it was a... Uh, uh, update ten zero seven four. That one was trash, and it made my computer trash. I had to do a full restore to get it back to normal. I think you were probably that was probably you in the uh, earlier stages of the Insider, right? Yeah, yeah, I was in there since the beginning. Right. Yeah. Well, I was in there towards the very, very end, and that beta. I don't even think that was considered a beta at that point. I guess it was going to be <laughs> the actual build. So. I don't know.